welcome back to our channel. We're the Garcia Twins. I'm Britta. And I'm Carly. And we would love it if you would subscribe down below if you haven't already. Today we have a fun video. We thought it would be great to talk through some products that we've repurchased multiple times. You guys watch our empties videos and you seem to like those, but we wanted to just kind of like focus in on the products that we've just repurchased time and time again. Yeah, and these are like hair care, makeup, body care, mm -hmm. all of it. So let's get started. Okay, arguably our most repurchased product is this Gold Bond Ultimate Diabetics Dry Skin Relief Body Moisturizer Hydrating Lotion. It is the best. It's the best. I recently tried, I mean, you'll see this in my empties, um, the Josie Marin, like that whipped body butter that comes in the tub that's pretty pricey. And it, the texture was nice, but it still did not moisturize my skin as good as this stuff does. I think it's their urea. <laughs> I know, it's crazy. Like I was the one that first discovered this yeah. and the only reason I purchased it was because they had discontinued the fragrance free, what's the Gold Bond um, original lotion? It's just like the Gold Bond um, like Ultra Repair or something. Yeah, like the standard lotion. They had a fragrance free version and that was awesome. Yeah. Then they discontinued the fragrance free and I looked through the aisle at Target to find another one that was also fragrance free. Yeah. And this was the only one at our Target at the time. Um, that was Gold Bond, and then I looked at the back, and I'm like, oh, there's really good ingredients in yeah. this. And ever since, we've both been hooked, and we it's probably so purchased like, I mean, because personally, I think I've purchased seven or eight at least. At least, because yeah. what I want to mention, I've said this so many times, the packaging is awful. I love the pump, but it needs to be. It's so thick. It needs to be in like an airless package because or you can a tub. Not, I honestly, some or people a tub, really yeah. don't like that because they feel like it's not hygienic. But I don't care. It needs to be. Like I end up having so much left over because even if. Like at the very end, I have to dispose of the pump, and then I have to just like tip it upside down, let it sit there while it gets it could to the even bottom. Come in like a tube, like a squeeze tube. A tube, a tube yeah. would work too. But this is, I love the pump, but this is, you waste so much product yeah. because it's so thick. We have it on our like eventually to do down in our life list um, to like launch this. <laughs> <laughs> like to basically like do it brand. in our own brand um, yeah. and put it in a better yeah. <laughs> We're so passionate about this body lotion. It's so, so good. Maybe in like five years you'll see a new and improved yeah. version from us. Yeah. In but a TBD brand. It truly, oh it does have EDTA though. Yeah, but I mean, it's, it's not, not super really, clean, but it's not clean. But it's not, but it's, we don't really, yeah, don't buy it's, into it's that a body lotion. It's, yeah. it's fragrance free. That's what we were exactly. after. And the urea, the, it's just, if you've yeah. never heard of urea, you can Google it, but it's, it's really good like, for like healing the skin. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and there's jojoba, glycerin, water, aloe, oat, ginger. There's a lot of good ingredients. Yeah. Okay, honestly, I don't have a lot here because I don't repurchase a lot of things. So the things yeah. I'm gonna talk about are like try and true, love them to death. Um, ew, there's an ant on this. <laughs> Our house is infested with ants. Well, not right anymore. Now. Yeah, thank God, actually, because it's so hot. Yeah, that's true. It got a lot better. Yeah. Um, so the only ones I took out of my shower were these two, but we have repurchased the Olaplex line. Well, not the whole line. I'll go into it, but the oil, the shampoo. The conditioner and the number three um, treatment. Yes. Those are the four that we've repurchased time and time again. I think I've purchased the shampoo the most. I go through it quicker than the conditioner and the number three and the oil, but all of them at least twice or three times. This one I think Yeah, I actually four. just put the oil and the conditioner in our empties bin today, so I have to repurchase. Mm -hmm. I can, I've only purchased the oil once. It lasted me a while. Oh, I'm on my second one. Mm -hmm. But um, it did last a while, but I wanted to include it because I really love it and I can see myself continuing to repurchase multiple times. Olaplex just really works for our hair. Mm -hmm. I feel like it would work for anyone's hair. It's so good at healing and um, like actually repairing your hair and we really need that because we bleach our hair. So yeah. <clears throat> Love Olaplex. The only thing we really haven't gotten into is the number, what is it called? The number four? Well then there's a new primer. Or number six. Like it's a, a new bonding number cream. seven. Yeah, and the new thing. If you yeah. guys have tried that new thing that's supposed to go with the treatment, I feel like it's gimmicky, but if I you've know. tried is it, it number let us eight know. then? Because this I is number seven. seven. Oh, okay, then eight. It's probably number eight. Okay. Um, but we like will buy basically anything all the We're just waiting yeah. to hear reviews on that. <laughs> Um, next up is a skincare product. This is the Vanna Cream Gentle Facial Cleanser. Holy grail cleanser for me. I actually recently purchased, I tried to stray. You guys, I tried. I was like, I'm going to try a new cleanser. It was the Sweet Chef um, like latte cleanser. And 
I saw that it was fragrance, but I was like, it's a wash off product. This is getting good reviews. I'll try it. And then in my mind, I thought it would smell like coffee. And I was like, that could be actually nice to like wake up your face with a coffee, like a slight coffee smell. But the fragrance was awful in my opinion. It was very like, like florally. I don't know. I just did not get along with it. And the, but cleanser itself like burned my eyes. I don't know. I mean, I get that people have different skin care, like skin types, but it got such good reviews that I had such high hopes and I tried to use it and I was just, I couldn't even get through the tube and I couldn't return it because it exploded in the car when I went to go do so. It was a whole thing. Um, but then I went back to my Vanna Cream Facial Cleanser, Gentle Facial Cleanser. This is just the best in my opinion. I feel like it doesn't strip the skin. It doesn't burn your eyes. Um, you can, it's, but it still has like a cushion to mm -hmm. it. I feel like it's different than a lot of, like for instance, the CeraVe, CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. That one almost leaves a bit of a film and it doesn't like suds up enough to where I feel like my skin is clean. This one I still feel like cleans the skin, but in a very gentle manner, but it leaves the skin feeling a little moisturized. I love it. I think it's so good, especially at the price point. I think it's only like $9. I will just continue to stick with this. I only have one complexion product to talk about because I've repurchased a few concealers that I still love in my collection, but I've only repurchased them twice. It's the Glossier and the Kosas concealer, and I didn't want to like actually include those because twice to me isn't like yeah. enough to say most repurchase. But this I think I've repurchased five times, and I haven't been wearing it as much lately because we're so stuck on the Ilia yeah. Serum Skin Tint, but I've loved this product. and. I think out of anything besides the lotion, I purchased this the most. So it just speaks volumes because like I said, I really don't repurchase complexion very often. Um, so yeah, it's the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream, Broad Spectrum SPF 30. This is basically just like a tinted moisturizer, but it really is a gel kind of consistency. So it's super lightweight. Um, it leaves your skin dewy, but not as dewy as the Ilia. So I feel like a lot of different skin types could use this, like if you have dry skin or if you have more oily skin. It gives light coverage, but like a decent amount. Like for years, I wore this every day to work, um, and I felt like it was totally enough coverage for me. Mm -hmm. And would just spot conceal over like blemishes or under my eyes. It's just so gentle on the skin. I also have had really really sensitive skin I still do but in the past I've had really bad bouts of sensitive skin and this has not failed me during those times like it's just so flexible I feel like it can work for so many skin types and I just apply it with my fingers too which makes it so easy like you can just put it on and go um, and it has SPF which is I also really want nice. to mention that right now Sephora is doing a bundle mm -hmm. where you can get that and then a mini bronzer and a mini bounce and blur blush and you can pick your shade and it's like the same price oh wow yeah it's a really good deal I would totally repurchase right now because as you can see this one's like pretty low um, but like I said I've really been on the Ilia train and I don't want it to go to waste especially because it has SPF so it could go um, bad quicker mm -hmm. but my shade is wheat 4.5 Okay, I'll talk about the two complexion products I decided to include. The first one being the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation. I wear the shade 425. This I purchased at least three times. This could be my fourth bottle, I think. Um, it's just a good tried and true drugstore foundation. Well, not, not even drugstore, just for any foundation. It's just good. I feel like it's really thin, which I like because it doesn't settle into fine lines. A little goes a long way. It covers, it wears well throughout the day. It doesn't break up and look weird. It's not matte, but it's not dewy. It's like a nice in-between. So I had to mention this because if you haven't tried it, it's just really, really good. And then Tarte Shape Tape, I had, I mean, I must have purchased this at least five times, at least, um, because this is just my tried and true concealer. These days, I do have to mix it with something more dewy or something more lighter weight because my under eyes are aging and they're getting drier, but I still think that the coverage of this is unmatched. It just covers up those dark circles. It lasts all day. It, I also put concealer on my nose to cover up like my pores, and this is the only one that like really stays put. It doesn't budge. Um, so yeah, I had to mention this because to me, it still lives up to the hype. Okay, next I'm gonna talk about my favorite SPF, which I've, to be fair, I've probably purchased the CeraVe AM lotion Yes, more. I was thinking that too, but then we stopped using chemical sunscreen. Yeah, we stopped using chemical sunscreen, so I haven't used that in honestly like a year and a half, probably two years. So I didn't wanna include it because it's not a product I really like 
use anymore but that product I probably purchased mm -hmm. like five times or more yeah but um this is the Purito comfy water sunblock SPF 50 PA plus 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 I've talked about it so many times so I won't really go into it but it's a mineral sunscreen it doesn't leave a white cast it has the nicest texture it like really protects my skin I've worn it on really hot days in the sun and I haven't gotten burned at all it's amazing it's only $15 and you get two ounces which is really good for sunscreen um, it's made in Korea it's just so great and I think I'm on my third tube but I haven't really found anything that rivals it Britta found one she really loves lately yeah so I might try that next but I don't know I feel like I'm just gonna keep buying this and you can get it on Amazon so it's really easy to get a hold of too okay wanted to mention the two mascaras that I purchased the most mascara naturally you okay. purchase okay. often mine too. yeah because I mean a lot of these be like yeah throwing it out after like three months and like mm -hmm. getting a new one but definitely L'Oreal Lash Paradise I just have to have this at all times I was without it for probably a month and to be fair we don't while working from home I will put on like a light face of makeup but I won't put on mascara because it generally irritates my eyes so if I'm just home it's like what's the point um but so I haven't had it in a while and then I just missed it I just missed having it I'm wearing it today I just think it does everything I want a mascara to do it adds volume it adds length it doesn't flake it's very black it separates it really doesn't look clumpy over time this is a thick formula so it will make your lashes look clumpier but a fresh tube will make them look like this it's just pretty it's just a pretty mascara that I love and then my favorite bottom lash mascara is the wet n wild um, skinny mascara which is hard to find I have to say I had to order this from Walmart it's on the wet n wild website as well I hope they're not discontinuing it but it's like five dollars it's the best because it deposits the perfect amount of product I don't want my bottom lashes to look like my top lashes but I do like something there to help balance out you know the top lashes and the volume I have there um, and this just deposits a little bit of product it doesn't smudge it doesn't flake it stays all day um, it's just good. It has like a very, very small brush and I haven't found anything that I can wear on my lower lashes aside from this. So I've purchased both of them, like this one for sure, probably like four times, maybe five. And then this one, oh God, I don't even know. I know, that's in my top purchase too. I just yeah. haven't purchased it in a while because like Britta said, I have no need to wear like very voluminous mascara when we're just at home. But I probably purchased that like at least five times. Oh, even more has to be mm -hmm. upwards of like 10 I would say yeah it, you go through it quick yeah. it dries up quick mm -hmm. it thickens to the point where you can't apply it anymore it's so good though mm -hmm. uh, but my most purchased mascara right now I would say because I'm still wearing this one while we're just at home is the CoverGirl Flourish by Lash Blast and we actually originally got this in PR mm -hmm. and then I just really fell in love with it and I've probably purchased this at least four times now um, and I really love it it has a molded wand um, which just really lengthens your lashes and defines them gently but it's really not overpowering at all if you want like a really voluminous look definitely go with the L'Oreal but I really like this for like everyday wear and it doesn't irritate my eyes at all which is really hard to find um, so yeah I purchased this plenty of times and I really love it, um, love it the too. last makeup product we didn't have very many but the CoverGirl brow pencil I have repurchased this like once a month I feel like well for a while I wasn't putting brow pencil like when quarantine first started by the way I hope it didn't get dark doesn't it look I like know, it, it does dark? kind of look like that but we'll, we'll nervous. figure it out that's okay which is weird because it's like 100 degrees outside I don't know what's mm -hmm. happening um, anyways I wasn't using a brow pencil like at the start of quarantine I was just using like brow wax brow gel um, but now I've been filling in my brows a little bit every day just to like fill in those blank spots and this is just my tried and true it's good it's creamy it's not too pigmented it blends out well it lasts all day the color the color I use is honey brown um, and it's so cheap you can find it on Amazon for like six dollars they have it at Target Ulta they have it everywhere it's affordable and I don't think, like, I don't know what the fill weight is. I actually never really looked. What is it? Um, wait, where is it? Oh, it doesn't say. Wait, that is because weird. Because it's, it's small. <laughs> wait, um, how come it doesn't say the fill weight? I don't know. That is really weird. But mm. <laughs> it's it can't be that much because I do go through this quite quickly. And I am not heavy-handed with my brow pencils. Um, but again, it's so affordable that I don't really mind that. Um, I 
don't really see the point in spending a lot on a brow pencil when you have something this fantastic at this price point. Yeah, I also put this in this video even though I haven't been filling my brows and I've just been putting the Patrick Todd Brow Wax in them um, during quarantine. And I actually really like how I've been doing my brows. It's way easier to cut out this stuff, but I still can't be without it because yeah. if I ever want to fill them in, this is just what I reach for. Yeah. I actually use a different shade though. I use 710 Soft Brown. Mm -hmm. um, it's a little bit darker and more neutral. So... It's amazing, amazing brow pencil. Okay, we only have one more product. Like we said, we really don't repurchase a lot of things, so these mm -hmm. things are like, just, we love them, you know? Best yeah. of the best. Um, mine looks atrocious. I probably need a new one. I keep mine in my side table drawer now. So it's oh, like a I was gonna say, I think I have a second one. I'll find it. Um, <laughs> But it's the Neutrogena Norwegian Formula Hand Cream, fragrance-free. It says, just a dab, heals dry skin. It's true. It's true. We've been buying this for years. Like since high school, I yes. feel like. I think it's been 10 years. So mm -hmm. to count how many tubes we purchased would be, you know, too hard. Um, oh, Neutrogena's based in LA? Is that real? I mean, they probably were purchased by someone that we just... Like, yeah, interesting. Um, it's only two ounces, but for some reason I actually feel like it lasts pretty long. It does, but it is... Yeah, it does. I actually, if you're using it on like yeah. your elbows and your knees and think places like that, it won't last as long, obviously. But you guys, this is thick. I have to show yeah, you. Yeah, it's thick, so I think that's why it lasts longer than yeah. other hand creams. Like, that isn't it going anywhere. Work. It's not going anywhere. It's so good. It just forms like an actual occlusive barrier. I actually love that it's only two ounces because it's so easy yes. to travel. Mm -hmm. Fun fact, um, when I went to Iceland a few years ago, this was the only hand cream I brought with me. And it was, I mean, it got cold. It was the summertime. It, you know, it's cold there. And this was like, I my hands felt so dry and this was the only thing that worked. It like, literally creates like a like an actual barrier, but it's not sticky. Yeah. Which is, Impossible to find. Yeah, like I knew that this, I was just like, I have to bring that hand cream. This mm -hmm. is going to work. Um, because it just, it's a magic. It's, it's a so magic. good. What is it even made of? Another product we'd love to replicate. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. We, we would never copy someone. someone at, like, no, I know, but like someday we're just going to have the most boring line of fragrance free, like minimal products. No one else is going to care about them but us. Yeah. But it's fine. Maybe you guys don't care. I don't know. <laughs> but it's so good. We love it. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching this video. We hope it was interesting. We love to see these videos because obviously we try a lot of stuff. We love makeup. We love products. We literally just enjoy trying new things. But it's always fun to like see what is your tried and true, your favorites, things you keep going back to. So if you have like your most repurchased Holy Grail products, leave them down below. Any category, we want to hear.